from Hollywood, the Jack Benny program. Thank you very, very much, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our show. Now, if I seem a little bit nervous or shaky today, please bear with me, because I've just gone through the most horrible experience uh, driving over here to the studio. Well, it was, it was just within inches of getting killed. But, you know, from this experience, I've learned one lesson. When you see a dollar bill on the freeway, let it go. <laughs> Don't get out of the car. Just let it go. <laughs> that is, unless you can scoop it up, Western style. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm here. My car's on its way to San Diego. <laughs> now, I don't know how it affects you folks, but the, uh, you know, the freeway really drives me crazy. I get so mixed up with the sign. Now, I've been to Palm Springs, I can't tell you how many times. And yet, every time I go, I get lost. The other night, uh, the other day, I was going to Palm Springs, and all of a sudden, I got on the wrong lane, I found myself in Pasadena. <laughs> then I left Pasadena, got another, on another lane, I was in Anaheim. <laughs> then I went on another, this went on and on. I was on the way seven hours. And I still didn't get to, uh, to uh, Palm Springs. Finally, there was a car driving up alongside of me, and there was a fellow in it and his wife and two of their kids, you see. And I turned to him and I said, pardon me, is this the freeway to Palm Springs? I'm lost. And he says, you're lost. He says, we're still on our honeymoon. <laughs> of course, I thought he was, you know, being a smart aleck and everything until I saw his car drive up in front of me and I saw it had a 1952 license plate. <laughs> they hadn't thrown rice at him, they'd have starved to death. <laughs> Say, boys. Oh. oh. Excuse me for interrupting, but uh, that television reporter has to leave. Oh, the one's in my dressing room now? Mm -hmm. I know. Well, he, he didn't ask me any questions yet. Well, he asked me some, so I answered them for you. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, good. Well, what did he ask you, for instance? Well, first he wanted to know where you went to school. I told him Waukegan, Illinois. That's right. That's right. I went to school in Waukegan. Huh? Then he wanted to know, did you go to college? Mm -hmm. I said you not only went to college, but you graduated from medical school. <laughs> Rochester, I know you were trying to impress him, but I didn't graduate from medical school. You didn't? No. Boss, if I'd known that, I'd never let you take out my tonsils. <laughs> that was an emergency. I mean, it wasn't your day off, so you couldn't go to the doctor. <laughs> now, you keep that reporter in my dressing room till I get through. Tell him, because I really want this interview. Thanks, Roger. Okay. So long. Rochester, he's been with me so long. He's the nicest. Uh, oh, Don! Don! Yes, yes, Jack. Would you come out here yeah. for just a second? <laughs> uh, Don, would you please carry on with the show? Because I want to go to my dressing room. There's a reporter there waiting for me to give me an interview, you see? Oh, uh, well then, Jack, will you do me a favor? What? When you talk to that reporter, be sure to tell him that I've been your announcer for over 26 years. Oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> Don, have you really been with me that long? Yes, Jack, don't you remember two of us came up to audition for you 26 years ago, and I got the job. Oh, gosh, I remember now. 
That's right. 26 years ago, there were two of you did come up for the audition. <laughs> I remember I gave the job to you. <laughs> well, anyway, Don, carry on with the show, and I'll, I'll see you. I'll see okay. you later. Okay, okay, Jack. Well, there we are. Now, Mr. Benny, we've covered pretty thoroughly your career in radio and television. And now, uh, tell me something about your career in pictures. In uh, pictures? Yeah. You made one! I'll tell him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you brought that up. I made a lot of good pictures, you know. I made, uh, well, the first one was uh, the Hollywood Review. And then I made Broadway Melody. Oh, yes, I remember, remember that, that one. one? Yeah. And I made Buck Benny Rides Again and Artisan Models. Oh, they were very good. Thank you. And then I made, uh, let's see, George Washington Slept Here, Charlie's Aunt, and another very, very good one called To Be or Not To Be. Oh, yes, they were very funny. Thank you. Uh, but, Mr. Benny, I noticed you didn't refer to The Horn Blows at Midnight. <laughs> Uh, was that done on purpose, or was that a subconscious desire to sublimate a uh, traumatic experience? <laughs> what, what was that? Boss, he means... I know what he means! <laughs> Look at Mr. Jones, those big words aren't fooling me at all. Now, sit down here a minute. All right. I want to get something straight. Now, I've done a lot of kidding, a lot of gags about the horn blows at midnight. But I want to tell you something about that picture. When that picture played the Strand Theater in New York, you couldn't keep the people out. It was a smash. Really? It was standing room every performance. Oh, well, that's a little hard to believe. Oh, it is, eh? Hard to believe? Well, I'll show you something that I saved. I saved a cutout of myself that was in front of the Strand Theater. And I just want you to see it when I'm late, when I made the horn blows at midnight. <laughs> now, Rochester, will you put this back, please? Oh, oh yes. Be sure not to lose it. Oh, uh, by the way, Mr. Benny, uh, Rochester's been with you such a long time. Do you happen to uh, have any pictures of the two of you together I could use with this article? A picture of Rochester and me? Oh, uh, boss. What? Oh, why don't we give the one of you handing me my Christmas bonus? <laughs> me giving you a Christmas bonus? Is there a picture of that? News reels, boss. News reels. Uh, by the way, Mr. Benny, uh, how long has Rochester been with you? Well, if he lasts through this interview, it'll be 25 years. <laughs> Uh, incidentally, Mr. Benny, you, uh, you spoke about your family. Uh-huh. Uh, do you happen to have any pictures of them? Oh, my folks, you yeah. mean? Yeah. Oh, well, isn't that nice? I have a, a small one here that I hope will be of some help to you. Here, oh, here. Here's one right here. Now, there's my father, there's my mother, and there's me when I was six years old. Ah, oh, that's a lovely yeah. family. Uh -huh. uh, but uh, where's your sister, Florence? Oh, my sister Florence? Yeah. Oh, well, when this picture was taken, you see, my sister wasn't born yet. But, Mr. Benny, you told me she was older than you are. <laughs> now, yes. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Jones, I'm so glad you're going to include them in the article because my parents were wonderful, wonderful people. You know, I studied the violin. Well, it, it through just because of my father. You know, he used to play the violin. Oh, really? Did oh. he play professionally? No, no, just for his own amusement, you know. I'll tell you, you see, in those days... Sit down. Thank I'd you. like to tell you more about that. You see, in those days, they we didn't have, you know, radio or television, so people actually had to entertain themselves, you know. And uh, so I remember, even though I was only six years old, I remember... Uh, how we used to have a musicale. You know, he used to come over and play at our house all during the winter on a Sunday, you see. And uh, it always started out the same way. I see, now there was, my father was in the next room shaving and my mother would be in the kitchen uh, making sandwiches. And I, six years old, would be always there right at my mother's heels. Ah, 
Jackie. Ah! Mama, Holly needs some water. Well, Jackie, you get it for her. She's your parrot. Besides, I'm busy. What are you doing? Well, today is Sunday, Jackie. Your uncle and your father's cousins are coming over for their weekly musicale. I know that, Mama, but what are you doing? I am making some sandwiches and refreshments in case anybody gets hungry. Good. <laughs> and Jackie, for heaven's sakes, this time when I ask you to pass the sandwiches, just pass them. Don't sell them. <laughs> Now, remember that. All right, all right. Gee, I can't understand you, Mama. Always giving things away for nothing. <laughs> well, stop worrying about it. I'm sure we can afford to give away a few sandwiches. After all, your father's doing quite well in his tailor shop. So if he's doing so well, how come last month he had to borrow $500 to buy a pressing machine? Jackie, Benny. He's your father. He's your own flesh and blood. He'll pay you back. <laughs> Believe me. At 12%, who's in a hurry? <laughs> everything going? Oh, fine. Uh, do you think I made enough sandwiches? Enough sandwiches? Oh, I would imagine there's enough there for the whole... <laughs> Jackie, what are you reading? It's a new book called The Horn Blows at Midnight. <laughs> How is it? Stinks. <laughs> Waste your time with these musicals every week. Waste time with music? Music's music. Why don't you play at weddings and get paid for it? <laughs> Son, we play music because we love it. It's, it's wonderful. Music is a wonderful thing. I mean, believe me, there's something else in the world besides money. Oh, Papa. What? You're sick. <laughs> Mom! Mama, where did the kid learn that kind of a word? Why, why, how, how did it become so avaricious? Avar what? Avaricious. Jackie, you know what that means? I mean, stingy, greedy. I mean, why are you always thinking about money? You know you can't take it with you. Well, at my age, I've got a lot of time to find a way. <laughs> what do you mean you've got a lot of time? Nobody in our family ever lived to be over 39. <laughs> Except here. Your great-great-grandfather. He died at 40. <laughs> but don't tell me. So. Papa, don't argue with him. Finish putting the chairs in place for the musicale. Well, Mama, I don't think they're going to come today. They're two hours late now, and it's the... It's freezing out the, outside. It's the coldest day of the year. They'll come, they'll come. Don't worry. Well, maybe they're on the way now. I'll see. <laughs> standing out there. Two hours. I don't think your doorbell works. <laughs> there's Jackie, there's Mama. Hello, Jackie. Hi, Hello, Henry. Take off your hat and your icicles. <laughs> now, Papa, Papa, finish putting the chairs in place. All right. Now, they're all here in place. Now, look at uh, uh, Cousin Harry will sit there, and Charlie, Charlie will sit back here. Why are you putting my brother Charlie's chair way back there? 
because your brother Charlie drives me nuts. That's why. Right. <laughs> and you want to know something? He is jealous because I'm a better violinist than he is. So how come he plays in an orchestra and you make a living pressing pants? <laughs> one of these days. One of these days. You just hate me because my eyes are bluer than yours. <laughs> get into that argument again. Oh, brother. If you didn't have the mortgage on this house, I'd slap your face. <laughs> Papa, the others are here. Oh, yeah. Those, they, oh, maybe they're in. Let me go. Hey, they're here. Oh, Come in, everybody. Oh, Hello, oh, darling. Oh, Hello, everybody. Oh, Close the door. Oh, oh, this is the first time you've been in there, right? Well, this is, yeah, we had it all fixed up and everything. And join, join the ladies over there. Hey, take, that's right, give, give her the coat. Take care of everything. Girls, how is everything? You like it, huh? You haven't seen the house since we fixed it up, have you? enjoy it today. We have some nice number. Here's the viola part. There's the cello. Here's the second violin. <laughs> All right. Give us A, will you please? A. Give me A, too. That's close enough. <laughs> this is my house. I'll do that.
Mr. Benny, it was a wonderfully interesting article, and I'm sure my readers are going to enjoy it very, very much. Well, I hope so, sir. Uh, incidentally, how long did you live at home? Well, I left the house, I left home when I, uh, when I went into the Navy uh, during the, uh, the First World War. Oh, you went into the Navy? Mm-hmm. Well, how old were you? Fifteen. <laughs> Fifteen? <laughs> well, that was a little young, wasn't it? I know, but my father was on the draft board. <laughs> Are you ready to spend all night at the movies? Well, that's exactly what we've got in store for you on TV20, two of Hollywood's greats. <laughs> 